Okay, now we're going to try to solve this Punnett square. So we're on step three. We're putting the letters into the Punnett square box. See, I kind of think about this like the nursery. Like mom and dad are here on the outside. Those letters came from our the last video uh, where we figured out the combinations of gametes they could provide. So this is like one sperm plus one egg, and in the box could be the possible baby. Okay, so typically we put A's together first, B's together second, so you always go uh, kind of in order like your parents were, and you always put capitals in front of lowercase. So this one we'd match up capital A, lowercase a, capital B, capital B. And you just continue uh, in each box matching up the, the row and column to make the correct um, combination. So this is like what gametes would would join and what traits that organism. If that became a baby in that little nursery square, that's what its traits uh, it would have. So we're going to finish filling out the rest of this box. Okay, now that we got that filled out, you can start doing the information on genotypes and phenotypes. So first thing to think about is you have specific genotypes. Um, and you have separate phenotypes. So you have to find ratios and proportions for each one. Phenotypes, remember, is the physical appearance. So I like to do this one first, but it doesn't matter which order you go in. I like to look at each one and figure out what does that actually do to the baby? What's that pumpkin going to look like? So if you look at this one, a big A, little a, it's dominant. This one's going to have teeth. Okay, and so, uh, so you can go through and do all the A's if you want, or you can do each square uh, separately. So you could do the B's. Big B, big B, that's going to be uh, triangle eyes. Okay, so you somehow, whether you do it one letter at a time or one square at a time, you figure out what each thing is going to actually look like. So here we've got teeth and triangle eyes. We've got teeth and triangle eyes. Teeth and triangle eyes. This one down here is teeth and circle eyes. Okay, so just go through the whole chart. Once you've figured out all uh, their phenotypes, what they look like, then you can start adding them up. So how many have um, teeth and triangle eyes? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And you should do that for all of them. So you've got two with teeth and circle eyes. You have six with no teeth and triangle eyes. And two with no uh, teeth and circle eyes. Okay. So you can change those into fractions if you want, like 6 over 16. You could change it into percentages, change it into ratios, whatever you're comfortable with or whatever the question asks you to, but that's pretty much how you find out phenotypes. Genotypes, then, let's change to a different color here. I guess some blue. Genotypes, then, is the actual DNA, the actual genes. So we go by the letters for that. So you would write down each combination of letters, like our first square is big A, little a, big B, big B, and you count up how many there are of those exact letters. So one, two, and that's it. Okay, and then you go through all the rest of them. Big A, little a, big B, little b, one, two, three, four. Next one, big A, little a, big, uh, little b, little b, sorry. And there's one, two of those. Little a, little a, big b, big b. One, two of those. Little a, little a, big b, little b. One, two, three, four. And last but not least, little, 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 little which is two of those. You can always double check to make sure your numbers add up at the end. Make sure you did count 16 of each square. And you can again change those to percentages, fractions, etc. depending on the problem. All right, so that is basically how to do a dihybrid Punnett square. Um, try doing the ones in class like this or your homework worksheet. Uh, you have two of these. See how it turns out. See which steps you get messed up on and let me know if you need some help. Thanks guys.